Now, we broke the news on the show last night that the New South Wales Teachers Federation, that's the Teachers Union, are supporting a move for school teachers to wear the Palestinian checkered scarf, the kefir, into schools. And that if the school principal asks about it, teachers are being directed to tell the principal to speak to the teachers union. Well, since we broke this story last night, I've been contacted by upset parents and teachers who are really concerned about this issue. It's clearly subverting the authority of the school principal, telling the principal to speak to the unions. But it also makes taxpayer-funded public schools, which should be a safe place for students of all religions, a place where if teachers are bringing Palestinian pins and scarves and posters in, Jewish students will feel threatened. Fort Street Public School, which is a selective school in New South Wales, has a huge issue with Palestinian posters being plastered around the school. I've learned that the Education Department sent a representative to speak with teachers there yesterday, urging them to abide by the Code of Conduct. But the teachers then went and had a meeting with the Teachers' Federation after that. The activism at this school has already been raised on 2GB by Ben Fordham and Ray Hadley. Now, New South Wales Education Minister Prue Carr says politics should stay out of the classroom. She says a wide variety of people of all faiths attend our public schools and it's important our teachers and students feel safe. She says she's made it clear that public school classrooms should be places of learning and for this reason we ask that politics stay outside the school gates. Shadow Education Minister in New South Wales, Sarah Mitchell, has voiced her serious concerns about this. I've been speaking to a number of faith leaders over the last couple of days, and particularly some from the Jewish community, and they're really concerned about the increased rate of bullying for Jewish students, um, that anti-Semitic behaviour, which unfortunately we're seeing in other parts of our community at the moment. Our schools should be inclusive, they should be respectful of diversity. That's Sarah Mitchell speaking there about this to Ben Fordham this morning, revealing, as you just heard, that there's already been bullying of Jewish students. Now, on the show, every night I'm going to mention a business that's been targeted by pro-Palestinian activists. Last night, I urged you all to buy ice cream or gelato from Anita Ice Cream Chain after activists, as you can see in that picture, vandalised their store. We showed you the vision, the video from that that horrible protest last night. Good excuse to have ice cream. Well, tonight, please buy a Bella Hummus, which activists are slapping with genocide and BDS stickers. Some of these stickers have been put on the hummus in Coles. Coles need to take the responsibility to remove those stickers. So please support a Bella Hummus. If you see any other business that's been targeted by this anti-Semitism, let me know, send it to me, and we'll mention it on air, because we've got to put a stop to this targeting of Jewish businesses, this anti-Semitism, it's not on.